having uncertainties whether or not Amazon FBA will withstand the pandemic storm. By the end of this video, I will share with you three tips that will help you clear the smoke in the air, so be sure that you stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and advice, be sure that you subscribe to this channel as I drop a brand new weekly video. One of our most successful Amazon FBA students was able to scale his brand new Amazon business to over $110,000 per month in less than a year from joining our team. So if you like to know how you can be part of this, be sure to stay in in tuned until the end of this video for a very special announcement. Now, if you are a current Amazon seller, you probably have already experienced the impact or the effect of the pandemic on your business. And that could be in either a positive way or a negative way. You know, um, some of my students are actually experiencing massive sales increases because simply they sell within the essential, you know, uh, categories or goods. And, um, and some of them are, you know, uh, experiencing a decrease. Also, another thing is that you probably have been noticing that Amazon is taking longer to ship the products to your customers. So although, you know, they have Prime and Prime says two days, but that doesn't matter because that isn't the case, right? And that really was happening kind of end of March, beginning of April. But right now things are kind of really, I want to say, uh, um, mellowed down a little bit. And then they have been able to actually, um, hire 100 brand new employees to help them with everything that's happening, right? And especially because people are simply going crazy with ordering from Amazon since Amazon is the only platform that is available that's open pretty much, right? You know, some people are just scared to really go to the grocery store, so they'd rather have everything delivered to their house, right? So um, also another thing is that if you are a brand new seller or if you have found a new product or if you are trying to you know, ship any type of uh, product to Amazon and your product is not within the essential goods, you're going to realize that Amazon is probably not allowing you to ship your product to FBA, right? So what is it exactly that you do about that, right? Well, there are three things that you can definitely do about that when it comes to shipping your product into FBA and making sure that your business keeps going and that you're not stalled, you're not stopping, you're not slowing down. Now, the first thing is you could do it yourself. You could do FBM, right? Depending on how many products you have. If you have 20 different products, it might be a little bit difficult. And then number number two, I believe, is going to be actually a solution for you. But if you only have a couple products, maybe this is your first product, you're, you know, you're replen- replenishing it a second, third time, you're just launching a brand new product, and, and you, you're out of job. You can definitely just have it shipped to your house. You can probably even get your product over to the customer a lot sooner, a lot quicker than what FBA can, right? Because Amazon is taking two, three, four, five days to even ship the product out to the customer and where you could actually do that within a couple of days or a couple of hours even. Now, what I would do is if you are going to be doing FBM, I would simply limit your exposure, especially if you are quarantining yourself at home, I would limit your exposure to where you're probably fulfilling the orders every two days. So let's say it's Monday, you get your orders on Monday, the orders on Tuesday, you fulfill them Wednesday morning. And then, you know, you get orders on Wednesday, on Thursday, you fulfill them Friday morning so that way you're only getting out, you know, twice or three times per week and instead of getting out every single day of the week, you know what I mean? So I would limit your exposure to the outside world. If you are quarantining yourself, you don't care. If you don't care, then that's a different story, but you should be caring. You should kind of keeping your distance and so on and so forth. But that is the kind of the first way of how to really get around that situation. Now, the winner for last week's giveaway is William White. William, my friend, congratulations. If you like to be part of uh, the giveaway, weekly giveaway for my step-by-step guide on how to launch a successful business on Amazon, drop in the comment sections BJKU. Now, the second solution is simply finding a third-party fulfillment center, okay? And that is simply another fulfillment center or another warehouse that will act as FBA, okay? So what you simply do is you either, if you have orders in Amazon, if you have stock in Amazon, you simply remove that product and then you ship it over to these people. And then the way that it works is that you become FBM. So instead of becoming FBA seller, you become an FBM seller. And what you simply do is you can apply for a prime badge, the prime badge. So you can be an FBM seller, but still have the prime badge. You simply go to the help tab and then you try to apply for the uh, prime badge. Amazon is being very 
uh, generous about giving that out to every single seller that almost wants to do it. Um, unless if you really have a bad history with Amazon, then they probably won't. Um, however, before it was invite only, but now because of what's happening, they're actually urging that, um, you know, encouraging that sellers do that and they're offering the prime badge because as we all know that the consumer just feels that much safer when they see the prime badge in front of your listing, right? So simply what you do is you pull out your inventory, ship it to this third party fulfillment centers, or if your stock is at your house, you ship it to them. Or if it's being shipped over from China, you, ship, you simply ship it over to them. You just have to you know, deal with what kind of, um, I guess what kind of uh, fees that they're going to be offering. And then usually you're going to be utilizing Amazon's, uh, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? I think it's called uh, like a special carrier or, or um, I forgot the word. I don't know what the word is, right? But I'm pretty sure you guys know. So just their um, their specialized, not the specialized carrier, not the I think it's the something. I don't know something carrier. But I know you. You know I think you know what you're what I'm talking about. You simply have Amazon. You, they're suggested. Their preferred carrier. That's the word. There we go. Their preferred carrier. Awesome. So that's what you do. You print out your shipping label. You send it to your suppliers or to your um, fulfillment center, the third-party fulfillment center, and then they ship the product directly to Amazon. And that simply is when you have multiple products, right? And, or maybe you're not at a job, or maybe you just don't want to do it yourself. You send it to them. Now, I personally have my own fulfillment centers that I deal with. So if you want to have access to my personal fulfillment centers, just drop in the comment section, just drop anything saying, hey Bashar, can I please have access to your fulfillment centers and I'll have you, uh, I'll put you in touch with them. But the third thing is kind of the simplest thing is really waiting it out because as of, uh, you know, as of, I believe it's April 14th, April 15th, Amazon has actually been trying to open up more products or shipments for more products, more product categories. I know essentially it was until April 5th, but then they extended it until April 31st. But I've had a lot of my students who sell in many different categories. Once literally they were again ready to ship either to their houses or to the third party fulfillment centers, they found out that Amazon is actually now allowing them to have these, you know, the products shipped to FBA. So that's another thing that you can think about is either, okay, you know what, it might be a couple of weeks, so I'm just going to wait it out until FBA is opened again because I know many people are like, well, I don't want to do it myself. I don't know if I can trust this third-party fulfillment center, right? I trust FBA. The trust is there. I'd rather just wait it out. Maybe this is your first product, and if it is, that's cool. You can wait a couple more weeks. Perhaps try to renegotiate your, your, your you know, your... Um, Try to negotiate your pricing, maybe look for other suppliers, maybe look for other things to bundle with your product, fix your product listing, fix your pictures, make sure your back end is optimized, make sure that your PPC is on point, make sure everything is ready to roll. And that could be something that you could just do is simply just wait it out. Now, I truly hope that the last few minutes we've been together have shed some light on your quest and have answered some of your questions. Now, if you like me to walk you through the Amazon journey and want me to simply show you how it's done step by step, um, what I have done is I have made a few spots available on my team's calendar where we will jump on a call with you, figure out you know where you are, answer your questions, come up with a game plan, and see if working together is a good fit. So if you would like to be considered, simply find the first link in the description below, fill out the application, and let's jump on a call. But aside from that, guys, thank you very much, Bashar Kid2 here. If you found this video valuable, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to this channel and share it with a friend who might find this content valuable. But aside from that, stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Have yourselves a great day and take care.